Hi, I'm Jen, and this is Husband. And while it seems like maybe this is Husband's Cock Tail series, it's actually not. We are here to, uh, what's that word? To like dis, like to give information to disparage? Is that, no, disparage isn't what I want. Discourage? No. Despair? Despair is not the word. Dispense. Maybe dispense. We're here to dispense some parenting stuff. Get out of here. Your Come on. You're excellent at that show. Just oh, saying. and I feel bad. He said, I just wanted to sing home. Yeah, yeah. Same kid who says, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> now I don't feel so bad anymore. So this is, this is episode one? I mean, or at least episode one of me. Episode one of him. Because that's what the show should be about, me. Because yeah. he's obviously the star so, in the that's relationship. The, the glitter. <laughs> the glitter and the glue. Coffee hour. Afternoon coffee hour. Oops. Coffee talk, that's new. It's never been done before. <laughs> Uh, right, right. It's a new idea. True, that is very new. People sitting That's, around. Wow, that's just how has nobody ever thought of that before? Could we call it something else? Since I'm not gonna be drinking tequila coffee. time. Tequila time. Tequila talk. Tequila talk. Stop that. Talks and tequilas. That's not good. I love alliteration. She not so much. I I do really like alliteration, but you have used the word alliteration maybe like four times in this week. I mean, I can't give you specific examples. When you have, I use... You've said it like a number of times to the kids. I have heard you say, I love an alliteration, Listen, like four times this week. If, if there's a figurative language champion, it's alliteration. Right? Um... I mean, I don't know. No. No. Simile metaphors. Yeah, I'd, I'd go with the simile hyperbole, metaphor. Hyperbole, I like. That's the most commonly used, but I would say... Hyperbole is used like a billion times a day. Why are we here? Because Jen told me that we need to make a video. <laughs> we should do it now. And that's why I'm here. I almost, I almost did a little <laughs> spit like that in his face but i didn't want to waste my irish cream and this this coronavirus time is probably not the right time to spit in your sure. husband's face no no you know we haven't kissed since this whole kind of this coronavirus thing started uh, we, i said we haven't it's not that we haven't no we haven't but in all fairness i had a cold sore i had a cold sore yeah yeah like a month ago not a month ago when i came back from la that was like two weeks ago. Only two weeks. Just He's... using hyperbole. That's not a hyperbole. Oh my God, you're the worst. So we're just here to... Share? Share. To... To, to share what is happening. Behind these walls. Oh, uh, that's a Kelly Clarkson song. Behind the So we're just here to share what is happening behind these i just hope keep wondering what i say now behind these hazel eyes and i don't have hazel eyes and his are just blue and ordinary please oh three two one best eyes high school yep 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 that's what i was waiting for that's the story i was waiting for it's fact huh? what can i say he graduated with like five kids it was like a graduating class of okay like 15. 90. he was the only one with blue eyes what that's why he won that? so 
Um, why don't we talk about our first week being home in lockdown or quarantine or whatever term you'd like to call it, prison perhaps. She's been homeschooling, I've been sort of working. Today I did a little more present, I've been helping, but. Yeah. Are there any things that you have been doing to like stay positive or to like brighten up your mood? Um, no. Oh. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I, and I'm like half joking, but I think it's actually serious is, you know, I like my mood not really bright, not really sad, like just, you know, right, right there. Steady, oh. steady mood. And my mood's steady. All right, well, that seems sort of sad to me. That's what she married. <laughs> that, um, I've been doing a daily, like, lip sync karaoke mm. throwback song, and that has just given me life. Um, and here I thought you were doing something <laughs> just as fun. Maybe you should be doing those with me. I did cameo because, you know. You that was like to. four seconds of joy. That's it. That's all you've had this week? <laughs> that's, that's pretty pitiful. That's about, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Four seconds of joy. Do you have any questions for me? Not really, because I pretty much talk about yeah. everything whenever I feel like it all the yeah. time. I, I, like the opposite of a question. The opposite, of, like yeah. you don't want to ask me, you don't want me to talk is what you're saying. You want it's silence, of a fine. I could say. Let's see how that. well you get along without me talking. I'll just be over here in my corner talking to myself. <sighs> Isn't that nice? Yay. Only if we're that simple. Let's let's count. How long? How long should last? No, questions for you. Um, I will I not speak first. until he first. apologizes. <laughs> I, I'm because sorry. Because my for voice. The poor joke about not wanting to hear you. Your sharing of things and your willingness to feel the feels and to share about that is, is the key, one of the foundations of this marriage success. I think the balance on the other side of that coin is my lack of feeling all the feels and oh. my unwillingness to share things, which just keeps it, keeps the boat I balanced. am sure the a therapist balanced. would say that yours is much more unhealthy. Oh, certainly, certainly. But it does keep us balanced it's because balanced. we can't have like, a volcano of emotion over here, yeah. and then no like place to catch it. A black it. hole of emotion. <laughs> right, like the lava's got to go into something, otherwise it like will kill everybody. That's Maybe a science not a portion black... of this video. <laughs> the lava um, has to go to something. <laughs> well, where you know. You can't have too many things exploding at once, otherwise the whole it blows up. Now, my question would be for you is, in, in all, you know, deep down, how are you actually doing? Because for how much she does like to share, and she does, and especially if you're like a follower of her blog where she then writes it out, she does share plenty there. Um, she actually keeps that core inner set of emotions very mm -hmm. guarded. Very guarded. Yes. Um, I would like to explain it like a scene from St. Elmo's Fire. Have you ever seen that? That's what we're gonna watch tonight. That's the movie we're watching tonight. That's great. And what are we doing now? We are going through AIDS movies. Color yeah. of Money last night. Yes, but that's the only one that's... What oh no! End? Well, The Mighty Ducks. We did The Mighty Ducks, but that's not 80s, that's 90s. And we did another one, Just Us, the other day. What was it? Maybe it wasn't 80s. It was a movie that... Right? Right, we watched a movie. 
We've been watching The Marvelous Miss Maisel. No, but before that, didn't we watch another movie that was sort of like on the list? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 with Dustin Hoffman. Where oh, Tootsie. Tootsie! Yes. To get back to the question, there is a scene in St. Elmo's Fire where the blonde girl, I forget her name, um, invites Billy, who's Rob Lowe, to her house for dinner. And she warns him that whenever her mom is gonna say a word that she finds like too awful to say out loud, she'll whisper it. And then it cuts to the mom and the mom says, have you heard about Susan? Cancer. It's funny, it's not supposed to be serious, but I feel like I do the same thing because if I say things out loud, maybe they'll come true. So I tend to keep some of those scarier things that I'm feeling bottled inside. But in terms of right now, I have, other than moments, I have my moments where then I know I need to stop uh, reading too many WhatsApp messages and Facebook articles. <laughs> I probably don't even have any credibility behind them. But uh, I feel like I've actually been okay and I feel like I've been okay because we made the choice last week whether or not school was closing to like shut down, lock down, batten down the hatches. We kept the kids home. I feel like without getting too therapy-ish, it's like the only sense of control that <laughs> we have right now is limiting where we go and where the kids go and all of that. And so really limiting our movement uh, has been quite helpful to my usually fear-ridden inner core, inner psyche, Cuban core. So I've been good. I feel good. This coffee has uh, Irish cream in it, which sounds like it would be delicious. What did we talk about yesterday with the phrase, who cares? Did we have <laughs> Just, a- Just, who cared us from the other room? Who cares? That's what he said. Sankey. It's not sorry. It's not. It's not. not. Hmm. No, no, it's, it's got alcohol. It's fine. Cheeses, berries, and... Cheeses, berries, berries and, and... Something that... What rhymes with Joseph? That's a food. Mimosas? Cheeses, berries, and mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a winner right there. Yeah. Want a sip of my tequila? Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be helpful for us. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be the beginning of the end. No, no. Why don't you go take a shower? But instead, it's like quarantined walls, you know. Mm. But we're just sharing. Big hit in 2020. Don't make jokes like that about this serious time. Oh, I thought you were just gonna make a trip about Kelly Clarkson. Also, guys, 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 hey, Raf and Santi, can you either one, and I know this one's gonna be hard, like you either have to be quiet or you have to go upstairs and play, okay? It makes it really hard to then hear. Uh, so which would you like to do? Sankey. It's not so. It's not. It's not. not. No. Something funny about what's going on. Oh, serious. You're so annoying. Right?